I've always been fascinated by steam trains. Some of the first drawings I ever made as a young boy, perhaps age two or three, were colouring in drawings of these amazing old steam locomotives that my father used to draw me. And so coming here to Raya in Lebanon, in the Bekaa Valley, and discovering these amazing old steam locomotives rusting in the trees, really evokes something very special for me, very precious to do with my childhood and my memories growing up. That's why I love to come here and to paint. And it's actually standing next to these huge machines that you feel their, their presence and their uh, incredible energy, which I think is very much alive. And that's what we're trying to do with this project, is bring alive these memories and make them live again. And through my art, hopefully I can contribute something to a project to revitalize this place. The train system, you know, really ended in Lebanon in 1975 at the beginning of the Lebanese Civil War. And it's incredibly sad that really there are no more trains in Lebanon at the moment. And so it's increasingly difficult for people in Lebanon to get around. The roads are becoming increasingly clogged with traffic and people are stuck, they can't get around. And more cars produce more fumes, and more cars also isolates people from each other. They're little boxes and people don't connect. I think public transport is very important because it enables people to travel to their families, travel to work without paying too much money. And also train carriages are public spaces. And in Lebanon, there are really very few places where people can meet in a very natural way. And when people travel on a train, it doesn't matter what religion they have or where they come from or what economic or religious background they have, everyone to some extent is the same. Everyone has a common purpose. And I think that the children of Lebanon will be inspired if they come here to Riyadh and see what we're doing here and see these incredible machines. I think it's great for their imagination to imagine what must have happened here all of the people traveling. I mean, this station is where three continents used to meet, Europe, Asia, and Africa. This was really a junction of the world here in Lebanon, and it's been forgotten. So I'm imagining a future where the children of Lebanon from the north, from the south, from the Ba'ar, the east, from Beirut, can meet more easily and travel to each other's communities and know more about each other because they can get around on trains. And whilst they're on the train, they can talk, they can read, they can look, they can draw uh, in a way that it's quite difficult to if you're in a car. It will probably help family relationships as well. So we have to think of a better alternative. And I can't think of a better alternative than revitalizing the train system. So what better way to start than in what was, in many ways, the junction of the world and Riyadh. So my hope is that we can bring this magical place alive and then hopefully there will be a museum here sometime in the future. The real hope as well is that we can revitalize the train system here and persuade the political elites of the value from a social level, economic level and environmental level that we have to get the trains moving again. Please support this project to bring back the trains. The trains should not just be a thing of the past, something that we're nostalgic about. We need to think seriously about bringing them back for the good of everyone. Uh.